Hi guys, my name is Tony J. Salimi. I'm a business coach and life coach specializing in human behavior. In this video, I would love to share with you a few tips you can use to go from frustration into empowerment. But first of all, let's actually clarify what frustration is all about. So for some of you, frustration would be when you have a thought and you have an emotion around something you don't actually understand and you don't know how to take the steps for you to be able to go into clarity. So therefore you become very, very frustrated. On the other hand, some of you may have uh, experience, you may have wisdom about something you do much better than somebody else around you. And you might be in a profession, you might be in a teamwork, you might be in hospital as a doctor working, and then you have some junior doctors out there who can mess up everything and you end up actually being blamed for it. So you start building those frustrations. So basically you interact with your environment all the time. And as a result of that, unless your psychology is aligned in a way that you actually hold on to mastery, meaning you think twice before you actually build this reaction within yourself when a specific stimulus from the environment makes you frustrated. So what can you do about it? The first thing I would say to you when you actually feel frustrated is identify the form in which frustration shows up in your life. So for instance, form could be uh, you get frustrated every time your partner doesn't close the toilet seat. You know, as simple as it goes like that. But you may be frustrated around the house, you may be frustrated at work, the way other people around you behave. So what I would always say to people is sort of by identifying what frustrates you, you can actually do something about it. So the second thing you can do, once you have a list of your frustrations, ask yourself this very powerful question. And that is, how is this frustration benefiting me? Now, most of you would never ask this question. Why? Because the word itself, it's frustration. The word itself has a judgment on it. Why? Because you feel like that frustration is something negative for you. But I challenge you right now to really see how that frustration is helping you. Perhaps it's creating a dialogue between you and your partner that you normally never talk about it. Perhaps it's creating a sort of more um, healthier environment at work where basically you can improve processes, you can improve methods, you can improve the working environment, communication skills, all of that. Or perhaps spiritually you can grow. Why? Because this infinite spirit within yourself, in this limited body, wants to express itself. And because the limitations we have in our body, you may feel spiritually frustrated. So this is the second part of it, trying to really see how frustration can help you. But don't be blinded by it. It's not only about the benefits. Also, it is about the effect frustration would have first and foremost on you, on your physical well-being, on your mental well-being, on your emotional well-being, but as well as the environment around you, those people who on a daily basis have to be next to you. So although sometimes you may not express your frustrations, the reality is your human energy field will automatically send all of those frustrations into the uh, uh, energy, uh, the collective consciousness that we are all part of. But especially, we are all transmitters and receivers of information. Therefore, anybody around you will pick up those frustrations. And ask yourself the question, you know, uh, is it their fault for you being frustrated? And I guarantee you, most of the time, if you truly step back, breathe, silence your being, you realize it is your creation. So instead of pointing the finger outwardly for any form of frustrations that you may perceive other people are creating in your life, try to look at those three fingers that point inwardly in you and see what is it that you can do to overcome those frustrations. And the next point I would like to um, uh, share with you that you can use on a daily basis is to really take frustrations in every area of your life and see how, what, how you can transform them into another form because uh, learning how to play with forms, you don't get attached by something that may be challenging your personal values or uh, injected values you may have. So think about how can, you can transform those frustrations into something else. So 
uh, for instance, you can actually uh, find a lot of solutions to your frustrations. And in doing so, you can actually create a product and service that you can put on Udemy online for other people who may be frustrated at the same level as you are for the same issue. They have a guidance from you by you finding a solution to your frustrations. So overall, how to go from frustrations, th follow those steps and you will see your life being empowered. Why? Because you start to integrate those things that uh, help you live, help you interact with your environment. And instead of seeing them as good or bad, you actually just see them as the intelligence you are gifted with by birth to be able to make the most of your life. So you can actually turn those frustrations into empowerment. If you would like to learn more, by all means, go online and you can read the Path to Wisdom, Hashtag Loneliness, The Unfakeable Code, or you can get in touch uh, with my PA, book a consultation or book a vital planning in amazing locations like here in Cyprus and let me dissolve your frustrations and use your frustrations to build an incredible vision, incredible wealth, incre incredible wisdom and a service for humanity. My name is Tony J. Salimi and living your life in peace is priceless.